So after you make the purchase, you will get the credentials with to the admin dashboard, which you need to use for the login. So I am putting mine. So after login in, you will get to the admin dashboard. Here on the dashboard, as you can see, you can see the graph or revenue for the customers, the revenue that has been earned and the number of products. Again, if you know how to set up the shop or you want to make any changes, you can opt to my shop option. First and foremost, you will see the settings for the site settings includes the template settings, domain settings, SEO settings, cookie settings, and others like shop images, panels, and etc. The next tab, you can also make settings for the content. So here you can see what all pages are there and you can choose to switch on and off whether you want to show them or not. Next up, you can also choose to make settings in the payment. Whichever payment gateway you want to link, you can opt for that. So you can see various options for the payment gateways here, which you can choose to view. Next up is the email settings. In this, you can see and make changes to the various things like the sender. You can choose to put their emails and also the reply email too. There are templates to choose for the emails too. You can also set up the autoresponders and subscribers list is given here. Next tab shows you the revenue settings. So the user can fill up the currency he want to show the product price in the currency symbol. Also, there are various options to create the coupon code. Next up, we can set the user details. So here you can see the data of the users can be given in tabular form. So next up, we can show how to import the product that are being preloaded here. So you get the option here. Here you can see a bunch of 25 products is given in all these files. So you can one by one download all which you want to show. Now you can also manage the products from this tab. So you can choose to view, add it from the tabs here. Next up, you can also choose to add products from your site. So this is how you can add product from your site. That's all about the insight. Thank you for watching.